I think that the music grind is something that we all essentially can relate to regardless of whether we have anything going for ourselves in music or not. We all listen to music, we all look at certain artists to inspire us, to push the conversation forward, to be thought leaders. But let's, for this example, say that I don't like your music. Let's say that your music is really not as good as you think it is and, and maybe the initial reason that people don't support your music is the fact that they do not like your music and it is okay for people to not like your music we're not supposed to like everything we're not supposed to dislike everything we're all gonna have different tastes let's say we've got 100 people in the room and you're performing in this room they've never heard you before 100 people in this room let's say only 10 of these people actually like your raps so you go in there you rap you do your thing and you leave you might have 10 people to follow you after that. But what happens when you go in that room and you not only rap, you take some time in between your raps to inspire people, to tell people where you're coming from, to tell people your aim, speak on some issues that need to be spoken about. Then you offer them some merchandise. Then you spend some time taking pictures with them. You're gonna leave with a lot more fans than 10, even though only 10 of those people like your music. You leave that room and it could be as many as the whole 100 people love you for who you are and what you represent and what you say. Now, if all you do is post music, what if we, if we don't like your music, how can we be a part of your movement? If we don't like your music and all you do is make music and post music, how can we be a part of that? A lot of us are looking for people to inspire us in life and regardless of whether or not we like your music, we may follow you and support you on social media because of the message and the awareness that you bring to the things around you and the things that us as people can relate to. So if you're posting updates about your day and some struggles you've been through but you overcame, I might think your music is whack as shit, but I might like you and therefore when you bring out a t-shirt, I might say, yeah, I'm gonna buy that t-shirt because I like this person. This person represents me. This person represents something I believe in. I'll be making sure to watch all your interviews when you upload vlogs, when you write blogs. I'm gonna make sure I check out all of those because I like your message. I may feel like you don't execute it right on your music and therefore I'll never be a fan of your music. But because you've chosen extracurricular activities other than your music, you have given me plenty of other reasons to be following you and supporting you. If all you're doing is making music and putting music out, you are not giving everybody a chance to follow and support you because if they don't like your music, that's it. They've got no reason to follow you. You've got to think about, look at the people that you like, the people that you respect, the people that you look up to. Is it just because of the music? music they make or is it the interviews you watch? Is it the social media updates they put out? You're leaving a lot of money on the table, you're leaving a lot of support on the table when you choose to only make music and put music out. There's got to be a lot more grit, there's got to be a lot more of a hook, there's got to be more to your movement, especially in nowadays where, like I say, people are following people for inspiration and ideas and thoughts. Music's just a plus now. Just think about it. Don't get mad, get motivated.